Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to be showcasing my full loadout for Warzone. These also are guns that I use in DMZ and other modes but this is specifically the full class of my Warzone loadout. Alright let's get straight in the video. The first thing I'm going to be showing you is my VEL46 and its attachments and its tuning. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our magazine I have a 60 round magazine, it doesn't matter if you have a 30 round or a 50 round, but I go with the 60 round because I like always having more bullets just in case. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is my ammunition. I have the 4.6 millimeter armor piercing just because it has bullet penetration and as a side it has extra vehicle damage. I don't know if it matters which one you have, but the one I have is a 4.6 millimeter. Okay, so on the tuning for my ammunition, I have it so that on the bottom, we have it all the way set to the left to recoil steadiness. And then to, on the left side, we have it set all the way to recoil smoothness. The next thing I'm going to show is my muzzle. I have the SA Shell Damper 99. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's all I have because it has sound suppression, bullet velocity, range, and recoil smoothness, which I think has all the great pros. And the tuning on my, this muzzle is set on the bottom all the way to the right towards bullet velocity, and on the left we have it all, all the way set to recoil smoothness. Okay, so the next thing is my barrel. I have the Tango 228 barrel, just because it has more damage range, more bullet velocity, and as a side, hip fire accuracy. So the tuning for my barrel is set on the bottom all the way to ADS speed because I like being able to get in those situations and aim really fast and shoot and make sure my bullets are aiming where I want them to go. And on the left, we have it all the way set up to recoil steadiness. The next and last thing I'm gonna show is my stock which is the Assault 60 stock, literally just because it has extra recoil control. Maybe I'll change this, but from what I have right now, I think I just want to have this. Okay, so the tuning on this is set on the bottom, just in, right in the middle, and on the left, it's set all the way down to ADS speed. Okay, so that's all I have to show you on my Vel 46. I hope this will help you improve your gameplay, but let's get straight into the Attack 56. So something that I didn't mention in my Attack 56 loadout video was that I didn't show the tuning on my laser, so I will be showing that in this video. And the first thing that we're going to go to is we're going to go to the magazine. Just like the Bell 46, we have it set to a 60 round magazine. It doesn't ma matter if you have a 40 round, but I like having a 60 round. The next thing I'm going to be showing is my unbarrel, which is the Merc foregrip, just because it has some hip fire accuracy, recoil steadiness, hip recoil control, and aim locking steadiness. In my opinion, that is one of the best unbarrels. There was another one which you could have, which is one that I don't have, but I am aiming for, which is the VX pineapple. But anyways, let's get into the tuning of this. So on the bottom, we have it all the way set to the right to ADS speed, because like I said about the VEL46, I like being able to aim as fast as I can to make sure my shots go where I want them to, so that's why I have it to ADS speed. And on the left side, we have it all the way set up to hip recoil control, just because both of these things involve hip, so I might as well have hip recoil control. So the next thing we have is our muzzle, which is the RF Crown 50, which I think is the best muzzle, has horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. And the tuning for the RF Crown 50 is set on the bottom all the way to the right, and on the left it's set all the way to the up. This gives me a bunch of recoil. So the next thing we're going to go to is we're going to go to our barrel. I have the 12 tack short barrel just because it has ADS speed and as a side it has hip recoil control. Now we're going to show the tuning of my barrel, which is set on the bottom all the way to the left, and on the left side all the way to the top. 
So give me some ADS speed and recoil steadiness. The next thing I'm going to show is my laser, which is the Corio Laz 44 V3, just because that has ADS speed and aiming stability as a side. And for the tuning for this, because I didn't do this in the last video, on the bottom it's set all the way to the left to ADS speed, and on the left side it's set all the way to the bottom to sprint to fire speed. Okay, so that's all I have to show about my TAC-56 and my VEL-46. Either of these, you could swap something out to get an optic, which in my last video I recommended my favorite optics, which are the AIM-OP V4 and the SD Lone Wolf optic. So the next thing I'm going to show is my tactical and my lethal. For my tactical, I have a smoke grenade, so that way I can get out of any tricky situation without being seen. And for my lethal, I have a throwing knife because I like getting those instant kills, and they're really good if you're in a really bad situation. I've literally having a throwing knife has been a reason for my survival in multiple situations. Okay, so last but not least is my perk package which you can only have in Warzone. I have it set to Weapon Specialist. It can be anything that you want, but I have it because it gives me one of these perks called Overkill, which allows me to carry two primary weapons. That way I can carry my Vel 46 and my TAC-56. There's also a perk called Strong Arm, which allows me to throw knives and throw grenades and throw smoke grenades and stuff farther, and I'm able to kind of see where they're going when I throw them. So that's good. I also have spotter, which allows me to spot any me equipment, field upgrades, and kill streaks through walls, aiming down sights, and highlights them for the team. So, yeah. I'm also able to hack enemy claymores, proximity mines, C4, and trophy systems. That actually, I didn't know I could do that. So that's why I had to read the thing exactly the way it says. I also have survivor, which makes it so that enemies that down you get automatically pinged and I get revived faster by allies which is a great thing to have okay so that's about it for my loadout and class so I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you did enjoy and see you in the next one Jesus loves you peace out